Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Miners of Rehab Effects here in Austin, Texas. And today we're going to consider the applications of the McKinsey technique with the lumbar spine. Here we have our model, and the model here, let's say that she has low back pain and that it radiates down through the buttock into the leg, and perhaps let's say her toes are numb or the side of her foot, the outside of her foot hurts a little bit, it feels crampy, or it feels numb also. By applying one of the various techniques that McKinsey invented, that Robin McKinsey invented, we are trying to get the patient to where the numbness and pain slowly leaves the foot, moves up the leg, maybe into the calf, continues to move into the thigh, to the buttock, and then only to the low back, and, to, and then eventually for it to completely dissipate. The process by which the pain actually radiates into the foot is referred to as peripheralization, and we are trying to accomplish centralization. We're trying to centralize the pain, get it to centralize here, just in the low back, and to eventually go completely away. So one of the techniques that we would use is what we would call a press-up. So we'll have the patient put her hands near her, near her shoulders like she was going to do a push-up, and she's going to raise her head and her chest up off the table, but leaving her hips and buttocks down on the table. Go ahead and come on up as far as you can. And ideally, you want to try to straighten the elbows out so you can come up as far as you can and get as much curvature in that spine to affect that area. And she would go down and do it again. And during this process, what you again are trying to achieve is the centralization phenomenon that I spoke about earlier, getting the pain, numbness, and tingling to leave the foot, get it into the calf, into the thigh, into the buttock, into the low back, and then to eventually leave altogether so that the patient may resume normal activities, improve their range of motion, and become more active.